See, it's me. I was just dressed up in a monster outfit, but I'll get to that later. I don't know. Am I, every time I come back, am I just like more sexier than ever? I mean, <laughs> it's getting hot in here, and I mean, I want to take off all my clothes, including my nipple talons. <laughs> oh. Nelly. All right, greetings and salutations, guys, gals, and fabulous transvestites. It's the virtuous one, the boy next door that you could introduce to mommy and daddy. And they'd give you a thumbs up. <laughs> the person you would want to take long walks on the beach and talk about your feelings. Wauwatosa Ultra Sexy Supreme Leader Guy. <laughs> hey, 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 no, no, I see you. I see you, I know you're a supreme leader of some hermit country. <sighs> but I'm Wauwatosa Tough Guy. I'm the leader of the Tosa Tough Guys, bitch. <laughs> we got nuke bombs too. And I'm about to show you one of them. My wholesome, titty, happy nemesis. <laughs> and just for the record, my hands aren't the size of a cabbage patch doll. So, you have met your match, Chachi! Whoa! Sorry, sorry. You know, I didn't mean to break out the... Weapons of mass destruction. But Fatty Mick Kim wrote me, the Tuposaurus Rex, personally, and said that I, if I didn't give up my number one world ranking in Superman 64 P PvP. No time to waste. Be a man. He said if I didn't give up my number one world ranking in Superman 64 PvP, he was gonna drop a really fat person on me. So I had to bestow this on his roly poly Jim Carrey from Dumb and Dumber haircut have an ass. Just bring it! That's right, son! I gives no fuck! Okay, okay, a thousand pardons. A thousand pardons, everyone. I'm here to review the PS4 version of Monster Hunter World. Hence, that's why I'm in the monster outfit that some of you guys were scared. You're like, what happened to Tough Guy? Did he get ate by a monster? No, I was pretending to be a monster for Pete's sake. And, you know, I didn't mean to let my beef with uh, Tim Jung, I like to eat urinal cakes, <laughs> affect this video so no more screwing around no more skullduggery I'm gonna cut the chicanery all right so before ja boy starts this review I want to say this uh, there is part of me that feels I am not even qualified to review Monster Hunter World. Uh, there is just so much depth with the combat styles of this game, and I really just scratch the surface when it comes to weapons and, you know, all that skullduggery. Um, I did beat the game, I defeated every monster, and I believe I learned every mechanic to this game, but weapon-wise, but weapon -wise, I really only experimented with about five or six of them before I found something that I was really comfortable with, which was the shield and sword. Maybe it's because I have a shield of my own. <laughs> I made a funny. Anyway, I was, I'm just saying this, so I'm giving uh, y'all fair warning. This review is coming from the eyes of a first timer, and dare I say it, casual! <laughs> casual Monster Hunter player? Ooh, you suck! Okay, now that the elephant in the room has been addressed, 
Hi, Michael Moore. <laughs> Let's chitty chat about Monster Hunter Worldy World. I don't think there is a game out there whose title explains what you will be doing in this game better than Monster Hunter. This is literally what you will be doing in the game. Hunting fucking monsters. Ah, that is an early look at the 600 pound life DLC that is coming this fall. And warning, high level players should only attempt to slay these beasts! Ah! Okay, so when I finally got my tough guy fingers on Monster Hunter, it almost reminded me of the melee version of Borderlands. There is a ton of different weapons to choose from, and you are always hoping and praying and yearning for rare or legendary materials after defeating a baddie so you can craft a sickadocious weapon or armor. But uh, I actually enjoyed Monster Hunter World better than uh, Borderlands. You know, Randalicious Pittsburgh. One hit wonder. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, eight. Okay, Monster Hunter is quite deep, and there is a lot of micromanaging going on, which I personally love, but I know a lot of humans hate. It's safe to say that you have to be in to Monster Hunter for the long haul. This isn't a game where you can pay, play like three or four hours and, and get a good feel of what the game is going to be about. Because the game definitely does get better as you progress along in it. Uh, all the monsters are varied and you must fight them all differently if you would like to be victorious. Uh, they aren't as creative as Horizon Zero Dawn, as the mechanical beasts in that game, but the actual battles in Monster Hunter do give you a sense of accomplishment once you defeat the beast. I remember the first time I finally defeated the Andereth. Uh, you know, for the first time, and I balled my massive tree trunk of an arm in the air and bellowed, I am a ga gaming deity! I decided to play all of Monster Hunter World solo for my first go through because I wanted the experience to be raw and not be affected by higher and more experienced players. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it was kind of like the first time I made sweet, sweet, sweet love to her. <laughs> That's right, everyone. I could have joined the seven man and one golden retriever gangbang that she was hosting, but I wanted to go one on one with her decrepit, haggard snatch. And like my experience with Monster Hunter World, I felt it only enhanced what I experienced. Yeah! Mm, mm, mm. Fist pump Jersey Store style! We got our fists pumping, bottles popping, how we get the club rocking, no one never stopping, come on, throw them up. Play Monster Hunter Mono E. Solo. Get it? I just made that up. Kudos to me for being so creative. Uh, the game can be quite challenging and it can also be quite rage inducing. Just ask the missus. This is especially true when you, uh, when you only have 50 minutes to kill a beast who is constantly flying away from you. But overall, it's a really good single player experience. Uh, that can even give you a sense of accomplishments once you finally beat a super tough monster. It's kind of like the same feeling you'd get in the Souls games when you'd battle that tough SOB of a boss and you'd win and you'd be like, heck yeah son, I did something. Now the best thing about Monster Hunter World is the way that it accommodates different playstyles. There are 14 different weapons to choose from and they all are so varied. Some are combo heavy, some add a shooting element, uh, certain weapons make it possible to <laughs> mount monsters and do damage that way. Uh, one weapon even lets you combine a bug-like creature to help you 
uh, do damage. I mean, there are just so many ways to go about it offensively. It's really tough to explain how diverse this game can be. Cap Capcom did a stunning job on making Ways to Fight so original. It even took me over 40 hours to finally master the, short, the sword and shield, my main way of offense. And I had to finally look on YouTube to figure out everything I was missing. So despite Monster Hunter being one of the most unique and creative action open world games I have played recently, it wasn't without its issues. And while it doesn't have any major problems, it does have quite a few tiny, teeny, weeny, little, little, short, short problems that add up. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I thought I was on Soul Train. First off. There is a lot to take in in this game, and it doesn't explain a lot of it very well. Capturing monsters is a huge thing, and I had to look on the YouTube for a walkthrough because this game does not explain this at all. I get that this might be easy, easy for returning players to figure out, but a first-timer like myself was totally lost. There are also a lot of other things in this game that just are not explained. Secondly, this story sucks more than Bella Thor. She's a whore. While the gameplay more than makes up for the lackluster tale, don't expect to come into this game and be interested in the story. The also, the same goes for the characters and the NPCs. They are bland and incredibly cliche, lacking any depth at all to them. Obviously, the gameplay is the most important thing in this game, but you know, Borderlands was able to have a strong gameplay with semi-interesting NPCs. I mean, anyone remember Claptrap? Uh, I think he was a mobile condom dispenser. He was one an interesting drink of water, might I add. Finally, this game does take a while to get into. Or as they say in the industry, it's a slow burn. I, I don't know if they say that. I was just throwing that in there. My two cents. Uh, this really wasn't a problem for me that it took so long to get into. Because, you know, as I said, I was in it for the long holly haul. But I could see a lot of people giving up on this game because it didn't catch their interest right away. You know, we have a short attention span in 2018 or so they say. Honestly, I really think having taken a while to get into isn't a con in my opinion. Because I like a game where you have to build yourself up. But I thought I'd mention it in case anyone gave up early and wondered if things improved as the game progressed. Monster Hunter World will be the type of game that will be played for years by some people, especially if Capcom keeps updating the game, which it seems like they are. They have already released a Final Fantasy and Horizon Zero Dawn theme monsters to go along with Devil May Cry Armor. And there is more to come. I believe there is a Legend of Zelda, either monster or armor coming. I don't know, not getting the game on the Switchy Poop. Then there will be other people that just won't see the interest in unlocking the end game gear and weapons because they already completed the game and killed all the monsters. So what's the point in getting better gear if the gear you already have was good enough to complete the game? Obviously there are high level end game monsters to fight, but these won't be different monsters with new attacks. They will just be the same monsters with buffed defense and buffed offense. Now, when comparing these two types of players, I kind of fall in the middle. I don't see myself trying to unlock the end game gear, but if DLC was released with a number of new monsters, I would probably get right back into this game lickety split. But as the game is now, Tuffy Tuff and the Tough Shine gang is done with the game. Okay, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. Mama June was mistaken for a beast due to her anaconda sized titties. I made love to that super sexy golden girl even though she's an old bitty. <laughs> I just got called a nindery noonie that bangs geriatric floozies. How witty.
Now, if I had to rate the PS4 version of Monster Hunter World, I'd give it a 72 out of 100, which is good according to the Tuffy Tough Manifesto. And out of the 346 games I have played and rated in my esteemed life, Monster Hunter World is my 139th favorite game of all time, right behind my favorite walking sim of all time, Hellblade Sauna's Sacrifice, and also the best Atari Jaguar game of all time, Alien vs. Predator. <laughs> hey, that's right, I had an Atari Jaguar in the 90s. I also had a mullet in 1994, so take that, mm, mm, cab driver, fuck, a New York cab driver, fuck you, yeah. Also, since Monster Hunter World is at 139, it puts it right ahead of two indie games. The first one is the RPG Child of Light, and the other game is Darkest Dungeon, which is a Kickstarter turn-based strategy RPG that is still getting updated with new DLC content today. Go them! Okay, so there you have it. Wawatosa Monster Guy gave it to you straight. If you want a title that is all about gameplay, that you can have, that you can play online with others, which has some of the most fantastic and creative combat I have ever experienced in a game recently, get Monster Hunter Worldly World. Ooh, DJ Tuffy Tough right now. But if you're looking for a bit more than just anal voyage attacking monsters, then you might want to open your peepers and look elsewhere. Me personally, I'm happy I got the game. I will be buying future Monster Hunter games. I'm Wawatosa well, Monster Hunting Guy. <laughs> I made a funny. Well, doing that review was a hoot. I'm one happy camper, and since I'm a meat and potato fella, a man's man that eats hungry man's frozen dinners, I'm gonna have some beers with the fellas from the local steam fitter union, and uh, then I'm gonna hit up the Rusty Woody for 50 cent wings night. So I'm sorry, I got a skadooty dude off into the sunset, but you know, since all of you have been so doggone amazing, I'm off to leave you with the best gift a fella could leave a guy, gal, or transvestite. You ready, you filthy animals? You know, I just gotta get ready because I'm going on the fellas, like I said. All right. XOXO, Gossip Tuffy, Outski. It doesn't matter what comes, fresh goes better in life. With mental fresh and full of life, nothing gets to you. Staying fresh, staying cool. With mental fresh and full. Who am I? That's not a secret I'll never tell. You know you love me. XOXO. Gossip.